Alright guys, what is up? It is your boy Poe Pro broadcasting live and direct from the Poe Production Studios and we are about to play Mega Man 2 on the NES. Well, actually on an emulator, but you guys get the point. I'm not going to be doing save states. My keyboard's way over there. If you see me reach over, then you know I'm cheating. I don't need to cheat. I got my controller here, although I am playing it on a PlayStation 4 remote, but whatever. Is that cheating? Actually, yeah, I do have rapid fire equipped, but you don't know that, except for the fact that I told you. Anyway, let's start the game. Nineteen eighty-eight. My God, I was four years old. In the year of two thousand X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Doctor Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Yeah, you gotta admit, Mega Man 2 is a very awesome theme. I'm sorry, this is amazing. Alright, gentlemen, so you guys get to pick. Am I doing normal or difficult mode? I will do difficult mode because normal mode is for sissies. Actually, when I was a little kid, I always did uh, normal mode. It does make the game a lot easier. Difficult mode is a healthy challenge, but it's not a bad challenge. Only maybe one or two bosses are bad. Alright, so here are our cast of Robot Masters. We got Bubble Man, Air Man, Quick Man, Heat Man, Wood Man, Metal Man, Flash Man, and Crash Man. And of course, Mike, who knows Mega Man 2 really well, is making me do Quick Man first. You want me to do Quick Man first? I'll do Quick Man. He's absolutely not the robot master you'd ever pick first. If you're a beginner at this game, you're going to die picking Quick Man. And you're going to see why. So we'll do Quick Man, but I'm going to show you a little trick. If you hit Start, while selecting your guy and you're holding down the A button, or it's the B button, I think it's A. Instead of stars around your bad guy, you get birdies. Birdies! Yeah, it's the A button. Pointless, but funny. Alright, so this is Mega Man 2. Similar to Mega Man 1, you're able to pull up your weapon screen like that by hitting start. However, you have a second second side to it. Overall, Mega Man 2 controls better than 1. 1 is a little slippery at times. 2 is a little slippery as well, but not as much as 1. It's hard to explain. If you play all the Mega Man games, you'll, you'll uh, feel it. So right... Right there across the screen, as you can see, we have Cheese Whiz flying across the screen. That Cheese Whiz are lasers. They will kill you in one shot, even if you have full life. You will die touching those. So they are very, very, very not fun to deal with. I would only suggest going through this stage first if you're a masochist like I am, or if you know this game insanely well, like I do. Remember, I grew up with this game. I was like four years old my first time ever playing it. And I do have some memory. So right now, I'm just going to run infinitely to the right. Man, this is a long stage. Maybe I should jump. 
Oh, that's why I kept running to the right. What programmer thought this was smart? Putting a wall there. Alright, anyway, right below us here is the Gauntlet of Lasers. Good luck not dying on this your first time ever playing this game. If anyone actually beat this their first time playing, I would call them a liar right to their face in front of their family. Unless they actually had video proof of it, then I would apologize for calling them a liar. Alright guys, let's go through this. It is very tight, especially this spot right here. Okay, we're good. I should be fine. There's only one other spot that's a little bit tight in this. But if I keep running, it is possible to get through these. This is the other uh, spot that's hard to get through. Oh, and we got it. We're good. I won, so long as I don't screw this up. And I won. Whatever, I'm just gonna jump through him. That one's in a really bad spot because technically if you just scroll off a little bit to the left, he will always respawn. So I'd rather just take the hit and get it done with. Alright, so we're about to come up to Quick Man. Quick Man, the only good thing about him is he takes damage a lot more than some of the other robot masters. However, there's a reason why he's called Quick Man. And it's not because he goes down easily. It's because he's very fast. Oh, I thought I had him. There is a little bit of a pattern to him. Like, he jumps three times and then he'll run in whatever direction you're at. But he's really hard. The fact that he's on uneven terrain makes him really miserable to fight. A lot of times if you just end up out shooting him, you should beat him. Except for me, I keep dying. That's it, I'm gonna get him. How many lives do I have? I think I have two more. We got him, all right. I'm not using an energy can, I refuse to. You have me picking a very not easy robot master to start off with, Mike. And I know you know that. I don't care. I don't care. I know I just said I wasn't going to do it. I don't care. Die, quick man. Pain in the neck. Making me do quick man first. I could beat him without using an energy thing, but I don't care. I've already cheated on Mega Man 1. I don't care. Q. Get equipped with Quick Boomerang. I see exactly what you're doing, Mike. I know exactly what you're doing. Ugh, oh, you're such a jerk. I will do Flashman next. Normally, anybody who has half a brain would always do Flashman first, and then do Quickman. That's more for the beginner slash intermediate player of Mega Man 2. However, when you're a crazy person like I am, you do Quickman first. We're gonna do Flashman next. Now that's what the background looks like if you don't put birdies there. And you're going to realize why you do Flashman first after I beat him. Alright guys, which way do I go? Up, down, or right? you so much. Anyway, this actually gives me a chance to show off Quick Man's weapon. Boomerangs, just like Cut Man's weapon. However, you can hold the button down and you have like rapid fire. And Quick Man's weapon is actually really underrated to me. 
You get a lot of firepower with this thing. A lot of ammunition with it. And it doesn't really cost a lot in terms of like energy. But it's a very useful weapon. I think it's really underrated in Mega Man 2. It's probably like my second favorite weapon to use. We know what the first, the best weapon is in Mega Man 2. That goes without saying. Alright, here's the dumbest place enemy of all time. Now, if you fight him this way on the right side, I guess he has a fair shot of hitting you. But, he's kind of stupid. You can just shoot through the wall and kill him. Those are called crazy cannons. I used to have the uh, manual for Mega Man 2. Alright guys, which way? Left or right? Left, okay. Alright, should I go down the left one or the right one? Oh, sorry. Middle. I, I'm assuming you mean this one. Sorry, I actually slipped before you uh, said that. Alright, do you want me to go down left, middle, or right? Right, okay. You actually were nice to me that time. Now unfortunately, I don't have one of the items to get me to the left side. So I know you, Mike, you would want me to choose left here. But sadly, I have to go right. Oh, look at all those giant robots at the bottom there. That can't get me because I'm up here. And for my trouble jumping across there, I get an energy can. Now this is young little kid Poe Pro, when he realized what Nintendo rules were. Scroll that guy all the way to the left and he will never reappear. Little fun fact, Flashman is not weak to Quickman's weapon at all. In fact, it ricochets off him. In case you were ever curious to see how that would work. Flashman has the ability to flash, ah, uh, freeze time. I'm doing terrible. If I die, Flashman, good God. I might actually die to Flashman. If I die to Flashman, I, I'm going to like revoke my gamer's license. Oh my God. I died to Flashman. I died to Flashman. Now the only modicum of some dignity I can try to shed here is that I am playing on difficult mode. And I'm not using energy cans? And Flashman's on an uneven surface? And I'm ending every sentence I say with a question mark? But I'm kind of ashamed of myself right now. Flashman, you're gonna die in cold blood right now. I don't care. Little fun fact, Flashman was never in the Mega Man cartoon. The problem with Flashman is he keeps running into you. But, you know, you keep firing at him non-stop and just playing a little game to keep away with him, you're guaranteed to beat him. But the fact that I died to Flashman is pretty embarrassing. I mean, I'm probably going to have everyone click off my videos right now. 
F, get equipped with Time Stopper. Whoa! Message from Dr. Light. Oh, I know what you're doing, Mike. Item 3 completed. Get your weapons ready. Three, get equipped with item three. I know exactly what you're doing, Mike. I know who you're doing after Crashman. I know who you're doing after Woodman, or Airman. I know who you're doing after, yeah. You're gonna have me go backwards. So I, I never have the weapon that kills the Robot Master. I see exactly what you're doing. Making this a pain in the neck for me. <laughs> it's a trap. Thank you for the Admiral Akbar. I also kind of hate going through this level if you don't have item 1 or the wood leaf. Woodman's weapon is actually useful in this level. So I will show off. I almost missed that ladder. I will show off Flashman's weapon in a second. Not right here. It's actually, this is a really stupid spot to show it off. But I'm also going to show off what item 3 is in just a moment. I want to find a good screen to do it on. This is why I hate coming here early. I gotta wait through this screen of madness. Luckily you can just jump to it from here, you don't have to wait the whole time. Here are a stack of cans. They're really annoying because I almost always get hit by them. So here's what item 3 does. Item 3 is like a little wall climber thing. Now imagine if the ladder wasn't there, then I can use the thing to climb walls. You know, I'm going to use Flashman's weapon in a moment. Not right now. I'm going to use it in a spot where it makes a little bit of sense. Because I don't feel like dying. Because you guys are being evil, making me pick like the hardest robot masters to go through first. Or at least Mike is. Now I know you, Mike. Which ladder am I choosing? I don't have item one, so you're gonna make this annoying for me. I know you. Flashman's weapon. Basically what Flashman's weapon does is it freezes everything in place for you. The problem is there's no way to turn off this weapon until it's too late. Now right now I'm doing a little trick. When you pick the ladders that are all the way over to the side and say you're shooting to the right, these bird enemies will always spawn on the right and they're gonna drop their eggs in a spot where they'll never break open. Same thing happens on the left side, but you've got to be over enough on the screen. Now it is possible to grab that ladder on the left. Ugh! Oh, I got it. Thank you. It's very tough though. you got to pretty much hold it up while you're extending all the way to the left or right. I'm curious, is Quickman's weapon damage crash man? We're gonna find out. Crash man is actually a pretty easy robot master, but that's only if you know the pattern. It, it does damage him, it doesn't really do anything though. It's, 
the same as a regular buster. So basically the way Crash Man works is he only shoots, jumps and shoots when you shoot. So basically you gotta just lure him. It's like, oh hey, follow me, jump, jump, shoot, shoot, jump, jump, shoot, shoot. It's pretty much the whole pattern. Jump and shoot, run across. Jump and shoot, run across. That's all you're doing. It's a very repetitive battle, but it's an easy battle if you figure out the pattern. If you do not know the pattern, then Crash Man is one of the hardest robot masters ever. I'm missing. There we go. It's a very noisy battle, but it's not a hard battle if you know what you're doing. Now if you want to be crazy and start shooting like crazy, then Crash Man's going to start shooting like crazy. But luckily, he can only have one Crash Bomb on screen at once. So I just felt like having a little fun at the end there. Crash Man, like I said, is not hard if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, he's actually really easy. If you don't know what you're doing, then he's real hard. C. Get equipped with Crash Bomber. And then it turns into a nice little pastel orange color. Nice. Alright, Mike, who am I facing against next? I already know who you're gonna pick. Yep. God, I hate you so much. You know, you're getting birds. Mega Man 2 compared to Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2 is one of the best soundtracks of a Nintendo game ever. I will fight somebody if they disagree with me. The soundtrack to this game is amazing. Almost every single song is amazing on it. There's a couple I don't care for. I don't like the password screen. Or the select screen when you start the game. It's kind of annoying. And maybe Wily 3 and 4. They're okay. They set the tone, but they're actually kind of a bit of a downer. I almost compare like the music of Mega Man 1 better than Wily 3 and 4. Uh, for the Wily levels, at least. Alright, that's pretty much the hardest part, just killing this one little Thunder Goro guy. Alright, I will show off Crash Man's weapon in just a moment. I've never used it against the Airman, actually. I'm curious to see if it even works. Actually, no, it's a bad weapon to use on him. Whatever. Let me show off Crash Man's weapon here. This is probably the only like, good spot I can use it on. So Crash Man's weapon, you can either hit things in one of two ways. You can either hit him directly with the bomb here, and I totally miss, or you can kill things with the explosion. The problem with Crash Man's weapon is it uses energy up like crazy. It's not a very useful weapon. It's probably one of the few kind of crappy weapons in this game. Almost all the weapons in this game have a, like, a pretty good use to them. Well, sort of. Crap, I mistimed that. I could have gotten there earlier, but the problem was I had these things in my way. There we go, okay. Now I got it. So anyway, these things that I'm on top of are called air tikis, and the little guys that come out of their ears are called gremlins. That might be a reference to like an aeronautics joke, where they say that mechanical failures are caused by gremlins. That was kind of rid oh, okay. I think the rules of Nintendo killed that thing, same with that one. Whatever, I'll take it. Alright, we are up to Airman. 
I don't have the weapon that kills him because Mike keeps sending me in places where I, where I just never have the weapon. I already know who he's gonna pick next. You might as well just say it, Mike. Is it gonna be Woodman? There's nothing but crash power. It doesn't even do anything, it just ricochets off him. I'm dead. Are you happy? I, I can't use Crash Power, it doesn't kill him. Alright, I'm down to zero lives, I can't screw around here, I'm gonna have to kill him legit. Basically, the way to kill Airman is just overpower him. There you go. Airman is down for the count. Hey, get equipped with Air Shooter. Whoa! Message from Dr. Light. Item 2 completed. Get your weapons ready. I'm sorry, I should have been doing the uh, Mega Man E item, uh, Dr. Light the whole time. 2. Get equipped with Item 2. And I'll show off Item 2 in the next level in just a moment. So, yeah, I'm a little bit saddened. I didn't... I was doing, like, the Mega Man Dr. Light from the Mega Man cartoon. Where he talks like this, why would anyone bar the, the, the outside of a bathroom door? Oh no! That's the Dr. Light I was coming for, but honestly, most people remember uh, the meteorite that Dr. Why we hit, blah 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 blah, <laughs> the Elmer Fudd Dr. Light from Mega Man 8. Oh my god, it is painful, but it's uh, amazingly painful. Alright, so our next robot master is going to be Woodman. I hate you so much. You are making me fight everybody in the worst order possible, so I never have the weapon that kills anyone. And Woodman's a pain in the neck to fight. Anyway, here's Woodman's level. You got bubble bats there, and you got wabbits. Rabbits take nine, uh, ten hits to kill. You could rush through this area without getting hit, so if you're fast enough. Here we have enemies called hot dogs. I swear to god, that's what they're called. Oh, I thought I killed it. I miscounted my uh, hits. That was pretty bad. Hopefully I will kill this thing without getting hit too badly. Actually, let me see. Do I have anything that will kill them? I don't think that hit him. Nope, doesn't hurt him. Of course it doesn't. Okay, quick man hurts him. Okay, Quick Man's weapon isn't too bad on them. I think it was only 10 hits rather than 20. Anyway, let me use Air Man's weapon here. So here's Air Man's weapon. You actually shoot a bunch of tornadoes kind of in an arcing angle in front of you. Not terribly useful, but not awful either. In fact, I'll be using them on Woodman. I'm hoping I get an extra life here. If not, I am using the energy can because I really do not want to go through Woodman's level again. I actually need, like, life energy right now.
You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna spam these things right now. Hoping I get some energy from them. There we go. That's all I wanted was some weapon energy. Or life energy. Ironically, a little funny thing is Quickman's weapon doesn't damage the egg. It ricochets off the egg, but it'll kill the birds. So I'm kind of curious. I never really went through this game using Quickman's weapon all the time. It's not a bad weapon. I think most of the time people would just know it as like the weapons used in like the Wily levels, because most of the time most casual Mega Man 2 players will always do Quickman last. Because he's hard. I mean, you guys saw the battle with him. He's not an easy robot master. So here's a little fun fact. If you follow these things to the left, they run through the wall. Does it mean anything? No. Do you even have to kill these things? No. They actually jump right over you. And there you go. Now, what is fun with Woodman... Well, I mean this lightning. Woodman's actually not a fun fight. Crashman's weapon's actually interesting to use on him because... Woodman sets up a defensive barrier around him. You can't hit the barrier, but Crashman's bombs will explode, and the explosion hits Woodman. Another weapon that's actually not bad to use on him, Airman, surprisingly. Woodman beats Airman regularly in the game, but the funny thing is, Airman does damage on Woodman pretty well, so I always found that to be kind of odd. But the real weapon that kills Woodman is Heatman, because fire burns wood, which I know what Mike's going to pick next for my next Robot Master. Alright, we are out of Woodman's weapon. Or Crashman's weapon. And there you go. Oh, I know you very well, Mirasami. I know exactly who you're going to pick next. I know exactly, unless if you surprise me. Maybe I do Bubble Man next. W. Get equipped with Leaf Shield. Now, if you're Wu-Tang Clan fans, put up your Ws right now. I don't care if you, no one can see you. Put up a W. Wu-Tang. 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 That's the W. Alright, Miguel. Surprise me. Doing Heat Man next? Alright, we'll do Heat Man. I'll let you guys hear the music for a second. I gotta go use El Baño real quick. Gentlemen, we are back. Gentlemen and ladies, whoever decides to watch this video, but I'm pretty sure 95% of it's going to be a male audience. All right, there is no bathroom. Tim, you better get a man of Medan tomorrow so we can treat. I have no idea what that is. It's another Until Dawn type game. It's new. Man of Medan. Yes? Anyway, here's Woodman's weapon. It kind of sucks. You, you form a leaf barrier around yourself. It's good for enemies that go down in one hit, but the problem is it wastes a lot of energy, and there's one fatal flaw to the weapon. 
The second you hit the D-pad, it fires. So it's a leaf shield if you're standing still. It's only good in certain situations. I'll show it off when it is good. Now there are two ways to get through this section. You can use Nintendo rules or you can just kill things. I'm gonna kill things. I like the cartoon, a giant metal shield in the shape of a leaf. Yeah, we didn't we try watching that and we had issues with your DVD like it kept freezing on that episode? The Strange Island of Dr. Wily? Woodman's voice was like, I don't think he likes this very much. I remember him saying something like that. You know what episode I want to watch if we ever watch the DVD again. There's only two episodes of that show I consider to be absolute garbage. Lion Man, but Lion Man is entertainingly bad. Crap. Not a good spot to get stuck. Alright. The game literally, like, shunted me off to the side there. I couldn't do anything. That wasn't fair. No, Lion Man's amazing to me. I, I actually love that episode. And I lost my energy can. That sucks. The problem is there's a little bit of a delay when you grab energy from from uh, enemies. So sometimes when you're running on a platform, you get like that second couple of frames stopping when you're refilling energy, and it kind of throws off your time. That's kind of what happened just now. The reason... Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I just realized something. I had Crash Man's weapon the whole time. Ugh. I could have just blew up the walls and just got through the uh, level. That's because I'm not paying attention to my surroundings and also because my focus is like totally gone right now. And a lot of Heatman's level has to do with sound cues, so you gotta listen for those disappearing blocks. Ooh, I want that severed head. Oh, I can't get it! Okay, I had, I had to do that just so I can jump down. Purposely damage myself. I forgot I got Crashman's weapon. I could just kind of blast my way through this area. It's sort of stupid on my part not to remember that. Alright, so right now I have a chance to show off item 2. That's only if Mike is nice to me. So I can either do the disappearing block puzzle over lava and bottomless pits, or I can use item 2 and totally nerf it. I can use item 2? Nah, how about this? I'll be nice. Half of it will be block puzzle, the other half will be item 2. I totally mistimed that. There's only one spot you gotta be really insane on to do this, and it requires memorization. It's not here. This part's actually easy. You just pretty much jump from block to block. I can't read whatever text you're writing right now. I have to concentrate. However, if you get this item here and you don't have item 2, it's a death trap. You die. Oh, you want me to breeze through the game? Oh, no, no. You're making me purposely beat everyone in the wrong order just so I don't have the weapons. Normally, Heat Man goes down to Bubble Man, but no, Mike uh, Mirasami's like, Oh no, you have to play the game in the wrong order, so you never have the weapon that kills anyone. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, if anything, shouldn't Air Man put out Heat Man? Because, you know, air puts out fire if you blow on it hard enough. 
Anyway, Heat Man's not terribly hard. He actually has a very predictable pattern. You want to immediately hit him, jump, and run away. Sorry, immediately run away, jump, and then hit him. So it's very repetitive, but you want to do it quickly, because if you stand still too long, it sometimes messes with his pattern when he dashes across the screen. But if you get him in a pattern very quickly and just keep hitting him very fast before he has a chance to really attack, it makes him a joke. That last one, he actually kind of formed into that fire beam much quicker than normal. That's why I got hit. H, get equipped with Atomic Fire. Whoa! Message from Dr. Light. Item 1 completed. Get your weapons ready. Thank you, Dr. Fudd Elmer Light. Dr. Fudd Elmer, oh my god. Thank you, Elmer Fudd Dr. Light. My god, I botched that badly. 1. Get equipped with Item 1. Alright, Mirasami, you can pick our next guy. Who are you gonna pick? Oh, what do you know, Bubble Man? Whoa, what a surprise. I wonder if the fire robot's gonna kill the water robot. Now, to be honest, I do like this background. But I can kind of see it not being very friendly to people that are prone to epilepsy and stuff like that. It's not too bad a background, but yeah, it's kind of borderline in that sense. So let me show you Heat Man's weapon. It's actually a precursor to the Mega Buster. If you hold down the fire button, it makes a giant fireball, but the problem is it takes a lot of energy away. So I'm going to use Woodman's weapon for a little fun right now. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even kill the big frogs? And neither is Airman. Oh, come on. You guys totally suck. Told you, Quick Man's weapon is very underrated. Now, I do like to keep one of these frogs alive, because on this next one, you don't get hit by them. They only shoot little frogs if there's no little frogs on the screen. I'll go across this. Anyway, these platforms, you want to stay on them only for like a second, not even like half a second, because they'll, this, they'll instantly drop. These little hermit crab guys aren't bothering anybody. Why kill them? And now we're going to go underwater for the first time in Mega Man 2. Unlike Mega Man 1, water makes Mega Man jump super high. So high, I'm actually jumping over the screen. It affects the physics of everything. Everything moves slower. Now, I'm going to try to do a little trick here. There's a reason why I keep hitting the pause button. You actually slow down Mega Man's descent every time you unpause. So if you can see, I'm really getting over to the right side of the screen as much as possible right now. I'm going to see if I can sort of do a little glitch in the game right now. I don't think I was over enough to the right, but I have no idea what just happened there. Anyway, what I was trying to do in Mega Man 2, if Mega Man and say like a solid object or sharing the same like area, the game instantly shunts you over in one direction. See right there I was kind of in the block directly above me and the game shunted me over to the left. If it was able to shunt me in the other direction it would have made me bypass this one area like super quick. But unfortunately I'm not that good. I wasn't able to pull off the trick.
Now this level is really useful if you have Metal Man's weapon, but of course Mirasami's having me go in a weird order right now, so I don't have the one weapon that's actually super useful in this game. Anyway, these little guys, they're like little jellyfish enemies. They have a weird name, I forget what they're called. It's like a bunch of numbers and letters. Nothing cool like, you know, like Jelly Man or something like that. Now I learned something about this game that actually baffled me. You, it needs three shots of the quick boomerang to kill these things, but only one of the regular, you know, the plasma gun. I didn't even know that was possible. That a special weapon can actually be weaker than the Mega Buster. Alright, we're good. There was one time I played this game and like a crab fell and knocked me down into that pit. That upset me very much so. So we are up against Bubble Man right now. I don't have any weapons I think that hurt him. Except for maybe Crash Man, but I, I don't even know if that hurts him. The weapon that does hurt Bubble Man, I haven't killed him yet, because Mirasami has me going in a really weird order. Anyway, Bubble Man is not terribly hard, but if you don't have the weapon that kills him, he could be a minor challenge. But luckily, you can dish out damage so quick on this guy that he doesn't even have a chance to counter. And he's dead. Sorry to burst your bubble. Hey, Bubble Man, what's poppin'? <laughs> oh, I got jokes. B. Get equipped with Bubble Lead! Alright guys, who am I fighting next, dare I ask? You know I can't revisit stages. That's actually one of the bad things with this game. I wish you could revisit stages. But Mega Man 2 doesn't let you. 2 and 3 don't let you. 1 actually does. So our last Robot Master by default is going to be Metal Man. To be honest, in this game, if you're like, say, an intermediate Mega Man player, you kind of understand it. Metal Man is actually a really good guy to do first. You're going to find out why. His weapon is awesome. So just to speed through this area, I'm going to use Flashman's weapon. I just want to kind of beat this game quickly, as quick as possible. One of the few times Woodman's weapon is actually useful on platforms. Anyway, I didn't really show off some of the other items. When we beat Heatman earlier, we got item 1. I did show off item 2 in Heatman's level, that little jet ski that makes a shoot across. And item 3 we showed off is that thing that climbs up the walls. Let's see what item 1 is. You actually make little platforms to climb on. It's actually a useful weapon. Or not a weapon, but a useful utility. Of course, Airman's weapon doesn't kill anything. Why should it?
Now the funny thing is, most people that play Mega Man 2 kind of know the little trick with Metal Man. That his own weapon really hurts him. But if you, you know, say you don't ever get to the Wily levels and when you get to the teleport chambers and all that, Metal Man's really weak to Quick Man's weapon. So, ha! I actually have the weapon that kills the Robot Master this time around. Mirasami, I hope you're happy. Should I get the energy can? Yeah, I'll get the energy can. Now, this is actually a death trap if you don't have item 1 or 2. But since I do have item 1 and 2, I can get out of it. So let me show off Bubble Man's weapon. I didn't show it off yet. Bubble Man's weapon actually shoots little bubbles that travel on the ground. Bubble Lead. It's an okay weapon. It's one of the semi-useful weapons in this game. So, ironically, we do have the weapon that kills Metal Man. In theory, it's Quick Man's weapon. It's not terribly effective against him, but it's decent. To be honest, Metal Man's easy enough for me that I could beat him using the regular weapon, but I'll give myself a little challenge. We'll pretend we're going legit. It's a very different fight with Quick Man's weapon. Alright, and there you have it, guys. We have defeated all the Robot Masters in Mega Man 2. We're gonna go off to the Wily levels. Um, get equipped with Metal Blade, which I will be showing off plenty in the Wily levels because Metal Blade is awesome. Everyone get your Wily eyebrows ready. Dr. Wily! <laughs> If anyone's ever watched the Mega Man cartoon, that is Dr. Wily's voice. And we're about to get hit with the best song of all time in Mega Man. This song is awesome. Right, so let me show off Metal Man's weapon. You can shoot metal blades in any direction. And you will also hardly waste any ammunition when you're shooting it. It is insanely overpowered. It shreds through everything. I mean, being a metal blade, it should. It just decimates everything. Metal blade is the most overpowered Mega Man weapon ever. I don't want that extra life. Because it requires me to do a lot of backtracking and I don't feel like doing it. One, I don't want to call it a flaw, but one little thing about the Wily levels is when you waste item, you know, weapon energy, between stages, it carries over to the next level. So say I waste all my Metal Man energy, and then I get to Wily level 2, I'm not going to have any energy for Metal Man's weapon. So conserve your energy when you could. Try to pick up uh, weapon energy capsules when you're able to. The later game's fixes it. Mega Man 6 introduces the energy balancer, which is an optional thing to get. I actually think that was a really good thing for the Mega Man creators to make. Anyway, this little area I just jumped across, this is a little puzzle. You have to use item 1 to get across here. There's no way to get to that ladder otherwise. And this was also the first time I learned in Mega Man 2, when you pause and then unpause, Mega Man is not holding the ladder and he'll fall off. I learned this the hard way. 
on this ladder. I am not going to do it. Instead, I will, you know, I'll do it for a second. I'm going to get off this and pick quick mass weapon, but I'm holding up. Hold the up button whenever you're on the select screen and you're on a ladder because you'll fall off otherwise. Alright, we're coming up to the boss at this level. Now I actually do have to concentrate because this guy could be a total jerk. And he's not hard because the end of the boss is hard, he's hard because the area you fight him in is very unfair. I can't read the screen right now, so if you guys are writing stuff to me, I absolutely cannot look at it. Jump off. No. Now the dragon's AI kind of works like he'll fire when you fire. So, so long as you're not too greedy, you should beat him. And that time I beat him without any trouble. There are times when I've hit this guy and he'll fire like a non-stop non -stop, non -stop stream of fireballs at you. You want to try and be on the top one because at least if you get hit with the horizontal recoil, it might knock you back onto that back platform. So you, it might save you from falling. But we're up to Wily level number two right now. We're going to give Metal Man's weapon some energy. We are also going to recharge item 1. And you have to use item 2 here, otherwise you'll die. I feel like committing suicide. Ah! Oh wait! <laughs> I, I jumped a little too soon. I wasn't able to jump high enough. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. But I do need to kill these guys to get some weapon energy back. That was insanely stupid of me. You guys can mock me all you want. I 100% deserve it on that. All right, I'm not gonna allow, let that happen again. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around this time. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm just being a total klutz during these games today. Nah, that, that's, it's close, but honestly it's very doable. It's not really that hard to, to to get that timed off properly. Now a little fun fact here. Say you scroll down on the screen you're hanging on a ladder right now. The second I hit down, I fall. Interesting fact, like the game has you hanging onto a ladder, but I kind of remember saying hey, there's no ladder on this screen, so it's like, I guess the game kind of gets itself confused and doesn't know what to do. I don't know. But I always found it to be a little peculiar. Anyway, this is a really good area to farm for energy. Mega Man 2 kind of has a lot of spots like this. Ironically, the one level where they should have it would be on Dr. Wily, but they don't. I actually want to get some energy for Metal Man's weapon. There we go. almost always use Flashman's weapon here because honestly it's kind of annoying not to. I do like the fact that Flashman's weapon and those things make the same sound effect. I always found that to be kind of cute. I don't need energy. 
We're gonna chill in the boss room for a few seconds before it appears. This thing's actually, I think, weak to Bubble Man's weapon, but honestly, Metal Man's is so much easier to use on. Oops. Okay, I miss misfiring a little bit there. Crap, I'm, I might die if I'm not careful here. Oh! I was a little bit in the wrong spot there. Ugh. The sad thing is I played this game a lot more on easy mode. I've beaten it on hard mode. It's not impossible. It's not that hard, but... It could be unfair. Okay, I don't want to keep wasting this. I do need to replenish Metal Man's weapon here, though. So there's a reason why these areas exist. You can actually replenish your weapon energy, so... It's not a bad thing. the bad thing is how I'm playing this game. The so-called Mega Man expert dying on levels. I don't have any of Flash Man's we uh, weapon right now, so it's almost unlikely I'm going to get through this without getting hit. <sighs> However, I can get that energy right back. Wily Boss, take two. That's where I got hit. And he's dead. The problem is that boss hits you really hard. You get hit four times, you die. It's not a hard boss. I actually kind of like that fight, but it's very preordained. I mean, preorganized, whatever you want to call it. They always form in the same pattern. So if you know where they form, you're safe. safe, alright. Oh, I can never get out of there without hitting the ceiling. There is a way to get up here, there you go, without having to use an item. Charge some of Flashman's weapon, why not? So we are in widely level number three. I guess this is like the sewer level. I always kind of like this level. 
However, there is one nasty, nasty gimmick with it. There are some very, very tough spike drops getting through here. But if you pause the game, you control how fast you fall. This is the hard screen. That is really hard to get through, legit. That screen. I've done it. But it's probably the next to Quick Man's lasers and Heat Man's, like, you know, block puzzle. It's probably the hardest screen to get through in the game. Mostly because Mega Man falls really fast in this game. a lot of shots to kill him. Alright, we are coming up against the biggest enemy of all time in Mega Man. The Guts Dozer. Oh my god, look how ginormous he is. He's gonna be the hardest enemy ever. Oh, he hit me once. And he's dead. He's a joke. Use Quick Man's weapon, you just destroy him in two seconds. Alright, guys, we are finishing up with Mega Man 2. We only have a couple more levels left to go. Wily number 4 is next. This level's a little evil. You'll find out why in a moment. This level's dumb only because the boss is sort of stupid. I, I don't mind the boss, but I kind of hate the method of um, having just barely enough energy to kill him if you want to do it legit. The problem is you're very enticed to want to destroy those walls. I agree with you. This is one thing I hate with this level. You have invisible floors and they are impossible to tell. However, if you're smart, you do have a weapon that travels on the ground. Bubble Man's weapon. So it'll actually show you where the holes are on the floor. Hey, look up there! I can just uh, walk and run right across those spikes. I won't get hit. Oh, there's a, a hole right there. I probably shouldn't just walk right there, and that's it. A little bit of a nasty gimmick to this level. It's also in this room, too. Do I need energy? I don't even need it. But just to show you guys, hey, look, there's energy right there. What? What? Huh? Yeah, this level has a very the nasty gimmick of invisible floors. It sucks. But that's the least of our worries. That's actually not the really nasty thing with this level. The nasty thing is actually the boss. This part's actually pretty easy. If you use Woodman's weapon, it becomes trivial. I'm not even hitting any buttons. I'm just watching Mega Man and his little leafy friends orbit around him like he has the force of gravity and inertia. And there you go. I actually don't mind this part of Mega Man 2. It has a little bit of a puzzle solving element. You don't see too much of that in Mega Man puzzle solving. I mean, there's a little bit. But this is kind of more like obstacle-based puzzle solving. I like this. I just wanted to kill all of them. Now this part, there's one of two ways to get across it. You can either use item one or two from that little platform, or you can make a really tough to time jump to get across here. I don't mess around with this part. I almost always use item two. 
it is possible to jump from that little platform right now onto the thing and then jump again. It's hard to time though. I've done it. I didn't even know you can do it that way, but you could. Come on! One of the problems with Nintendo rules. I actually might need to kill some of these guys to get some energy back. Oh, forget it. I'll just use an energy can. I don't care. This next boss is probably one of the worst bosses of Mega Man history. It's almost impossible not to get hit by this thing. Alright, this sucks. I actually have to use an energy can here just because you'll, you'll see why in a moment. I'm not even going to be able to kill this guy because I don't have enough energy of the weapon that kills him. But what I could do... Crash Man's weapon is the only weapon that kills him. Oh no, there is a way to do it in one shot. You don't destroy, you only destroy the walls that are absolutely mandatory. I'm gonna die on purpose here, there's a reason why. When I come back to this boss, all those walls will be gone. It makes this boss much more manageable. This is a very stupid boss, I think it's probably the worst one in Mega Man history. Not hard, it's only hard because it's almost impossible to dodge his shots, but whatever. It is what it is. The only problem is, I now have to replenish Crash Man's weapon energy, which is easier said than done. Let's hope and pray I get some really, really generous AI here. That's really nice. I don't care, you can hit me. Actually, you know what's even cool? I get the energy can back. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see, are you going to go two for two? Nope. Almost. I still want to recharge his weapon completely. I don't need 100% of his weapon back, but it makes things easier. Funny thing is, I actually could use that little bit of energy, but I don't really care at this point. Yes, I'm sorry. You're actually going to have to watch me do a little farming right now. It's the only time in the game when you kind of have to do it. Now, there is a way to kill that enemy in one shot. It would involve using item 1 and going around in this really crazy way where you only destroy the walls that are mandatory, that are blocking those things. Because those things only die to Crash Man's weapon. That is the fatal flaw with that boss. If they made it vulnerable to anything else, it would be tolerable to me. But the fact that you have to use Crash Man's weapon makes it an infamously stupid boss in Mega Man 2. I guess they figured, hey, we don't have enough things that die to Crash Man's weapon. Oh, well, let's make you that boss in uh, that level, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what their mode of thinking was, but sure. Crash Man's weapon's not even that good. It's probably the, one of the worst ones of the game. Alright, we have our weapon completely replenished. We're good in that sense. I'm gonna go and grab that extra energy can because why should I not? Oh, I fell through. This is how you get it. You actually have to use item one there. I don't really, or maybe item three. I don't really know any other way to get it. All right, so we're gonna have to go through the motions again. We're gonna have to go through level, widely level four. And 
We should beat this game without a problem. So, uh, Mega Man, uh, would you not? I think these uh, enemies here need to leave me alone. <laughs> you get it? Leave? Because I have the leaf shield around me? I have a bunch of leaves flying around me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to lose viewers if I do that. Make bad jokes. <laughs> Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? It's leave! You sound like a damn fool when you say it wrong. Alright then, leave! And take your book with you. Bonus points for anybody that can say what movie that is. Well, I know you guys both know. Don't you have a safe? Get a safe! <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually quoted that uh, the leave it, uh, make like a tree and get out of here quote earlier today at work. I said to uh, the, my coworker, I said, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? And she goes, it's leave! You sound like a damn fool when you say it wrong. <laughs> so she, she knew exactly what, it, what I was quoting. Ah, oh, you jerk. I hate these things. They take way too many hits to kill. guys without using an energy can, but I might not. I don't care if I have to use one. I don't really need all four of them. Now, ironically, Crashman's weapon will kill these things in one hit. Actually, nah, I'm gonna, I probably will use it for safety. Actually, no, I don't have to. There we go, we beat him. Probably the dumbest enemy of Mega Man history. Like I said, I don't mind the boss, but the fact that it's weak to Crash Man's weapon makes it stupid. Alright, and we are up to the Mega Man teleport system. All right, Mirasami, you get to pick or Bullet Tooth Tony, any of my watchers right now, my viewers, the Poe Pro constituency. Um, sort of. Anyway, guys, you can pick any one of the teleport things. We got the top left, middle left, bottom left, top right, middle right, bottom right, or the two in the middle. I guess you could say left below and right below. However you want to categorize it. Bottom right. I already know who that is. I'm getting air shooter ready, Mirasami. Can you uh, preemptively assume who I'm going to fight? Let's see if you know your Mega Man uh, weapon weaknesses. Crash Man. I know Mega Man 2s and some of 3s. Air shooter makes Crash Man a joke. Three shots kills him. Alright, which one now? We have top right, middle right, top left, middle left, bottom left, or down left, down right, or center, 
right, center, left, whatever you want to say. I kind of do. Bottom left, I think that's air, man. If it's not air, then it's wood. Okay, it's wood, man. Woodman is actually weak to the heat, uh, atomic fire. Two shots kill him. And he's dead. Would have been nice for me to show this off earlier in the game, but Mirasami's being evil. Alright, Mirasami, you pick. I guess Woodman needed to leave it alone. Upper right. That is Flashman. Flashman is a joke on flat ground. He just keeps shooting and he keeps jumping. And the fact that I killed him while standing on the teleporter just boosted me right out of the room. Alright, you tell me who to do next. Upper left. Upper left, I believe, is Heat Man. Yep. I believe three shots of bubble lead, or sorry, that's on easy mode. Four shots of bubble lead, I think, kill him. Either four or five. Five. And he's dead. Actually, I shouldn't be wasting Bubble Man's weapon right now. You'll understand why in a moment. Middle left. That's Air Man. I'm going to kill Air Man with the Leaf Shield, but in a moment. I want to actually shoot him this way first. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't want to die. That was kind of stupid on my part. Alright, that was actually pretty pretty bad on my part. That's the one thing with Mega Man 2 I do like, is you do have the option to refill your energy if you screw up. Unlike Mega Man 1, if you screw up, you die. Mega Man 2, you at least have a chance to try and salvage your uh, dignity. But you only get four energy cans. Later games gave you nine which is overkill. Alright, Mirasami says let's do the middle right. That is Metal Man. This is the most hilarious thing ever in this game. The first thing I did when I played this game is I wanted to use the Mega Man weapons on themselves, or the Robot Master weapons on themselves. Metal Man dies to his own weapon in two shots. I always found that hilarious. Alright, so we got the bottom one, so we want to do the left one or the right one. I know which one is which. You never notice that? Yeah, it says Dr. Wily teleport system. Something zero zero. C zero zero? I always thought it said 2000, but. Alright, that is Bubble Man. The one on the right is Quick Man. Bubble Man dies almost instantly. What's fun with Bubble Man is that there's no spikes in this, in this chamber this time around. So you can jump as high as you want, and you won't die. Woo, Bubble Man! Oh, really? This is E Infinity? That's pretty cool. It's probably the sloppiest Bubble Man fight ever. What's funny is the water effect goes away in Bubble Man after you kill him. I always found that to be kind of funny. Alright, our next enemy is Quick Man. Quick Man actually gets hurt by the Flash uh, Time Stopper. Not much, though. He is a million times easier on flat ground, though. Except for the fact that I'm constantly getting hit by him. But he's a lot easier on flat ground. He really is. Alright. What? There's a teleporter on the top of the screen. I guess I have to do that one next. This one is a pain in the neck. We're actually facing off against Dr. Wily. 
he's very unfair. There is absolutely no shame in using your energy pants against him. I don't see any shame in it. There's no way to dodge these bouncing balls here, which I always found to be a little bit weird. But there's no shame in using your energy cans against him. This is actually a pretty hard boss. Alright, and we beat the game, guys! Dr. Wily's dead. We won. Why, why are we not at, a, at, an, at an ending screen? There's another level? What? This level, there's a way to really trivialize it. I'm about to show you right now. If you fall and hold right and just run through the level as you come across it, you'll never get hit by any of the stuff here. This is acid falling from the ceiling. Acid hurts Mega Man. But if you run to the right, you actually pass all these things before they even have a chance to like drop down and hit you. Otherwise, if you go through it, you're going to tiptoe your way through and just kind of make your way through. Just be patient, otherwise. But there's one fatal flaw to this level. There is no way to replenish your weapon energy. So if you die on Wily and you run out of the weapon that kills him, you're going to have to just keep dying until you get to a continue screen. That is very stupid programming. They should have put like some kind of enemies here so you, you're able to replenish your energy. That's the only flaw to this level. Otherwise, I have no issues with it. And most of the most of this game, I, I feel is pretty solid. But this is the only kind of stupid thing they did in the game. The only weapon that actually kills Doctor Wily is Bubble Man's weapon, which ironically is one of the least useful weapons to use on this boss. And you'll see why. So that's it, Wily. I'm about to take you out once and for all. You against me. Mano a mano or robot a mano. And it, you're, you're an alien. Dr. Wily was an alien this whole time. To be honest, he's not very hard. He has a really predictable pattern. But do not get hit by him. His projectiles aren't so bad. But getting hit by him is really awful. He goes in this little infinite infinity symbol, little figure eight symbol, and it's not too hard to figure out his pattern. The problem is his firing rate's a little, not random, but it doesn't really correlate with his pattern so much. It kind of goes off in different parts of his pattern. But he's not a very tough enemy. I mean, in fact, I haven't even gotten hit by him, if you noticed. The problem is I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to waste any of Bubble Man's weapon if I don't need to. So this is going to get close. I should be able to kill him here. And he's dead. If I screwed that up, I would have had to keep killing myself to get Bubble Man's weapon energy back. And Mega Man 2 is done with. I always found this to be quite endearing that Wily's like on a little, you know, video game platform there trying to like control a hologram. I always found it to be pretty cute. That's it, Wily. Beg before me and perhaps I will spare you. Or not. And this is the ending to Mega Man 2. I actually think this is a really cool ending. Mega Man, I guess, kind of contemplating, thinking about fighting for peace here. I always found this to be a really cool ending. And the fact that your weapons kind of correspond to the different seasons, really cool.
I always found it cool. Like, Mega Man's done with the fight, puts his helmet down, he wants to return home. I always thought it was kind of a cool sort of tone to that ending. Alright, and that was Mega Man 2. Overall, my review of this game. It takes everything of Mega Man 1 and enhances it to make it better, and takes everything that was bad with Mega Man 1 and gets rid of it. Having the addition of energy cans makes it really good. The weapons are actually very fun to use in this game. I like the items. It's a really, really solid game. In fact, I would really recommend starting with this game if you ever play uh, the Mega Man series, the original series. Mega Man 2 is pretty fun to slay your way through. Now, if you really, really do suck at games, play it on normal mode first and then try difficult. The only difference is the amount of hits it takes to kill things. That's it. Overall, my review on Mega Man 2, I'm going to give this game, despite the fact there are like one or two flaws to it, but that's mostly just kind of due to maybe not thoroughly really thinking through things, but it's minor inconveniences. I'm still going to give this game a 10 out of 10. The soundtrack is amazing. It takes everything about Mega Man 1 and just like, you know, like turbo speeds it. It makes it insanely good. My only real criticisms of it, there's a lot of sprite flickering, but that's due to like early like limitations with the Nintendo. And it's only noticeable maybe like a couple bosses, like the Wily 4 boss and Wily 1 boss with that dragon. But what really kind of kills it is just the very last area with that alien fight. If you run out of Bubble Man's weapon, you are in a bad situation. You have to just kill yourself until you get a continue screen. And then you're out of energy cans. So it kind of sets you in a bit of a bad spot on the last boss. But, and there's no way for you to recharge your energy. I just think that was the only kind of stupid thing that was done in this game. And also Wily 4 boss. I don't really like that much, but uh, those are minor inconveniences for the most part if you have ways to get around it, they're not hard to deal with. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Probably on Sunday we will continue and play Mega Man 3 and 4, otherwise I'll do it on Monday. We'll do Mega Man 3 and 4 next. This is Pope Pro signing out, peace, love, and happiness, wisdom, knowledge, supreme. Hope Pro blesses you all. One.